Hey, it's Norm from Tested, and for this week's show and tell, I want to share with you a recent find that I found at the local Japanese bookstore in Japantown.、Um, these are 3D paper craft kits, kind of like those、uh, bone lab kits I shared with you a year ago, except instead of being laser cut acrylic or plastic,、uh, these are actually laser cut paper. Uh, and they assemble to make these wonderful creatures. I love that these are basically、um, like crustacean creatures that are assembled with paper. You get all the the spiny details.、Uh, this one I assembled over the weekend. It was a crawfish, beautiful color. I love that orange. And this, which may be my favorite, is an isopod,、um, kind of like those creatures from Pacific Rim, those skin mites. Except it's actually a real creature.、It、exists in in the world. And this one was a little more difficult to assemble. But I love him, little Iggy. The isopods. I'm actually going to assemble one of these for you today to show you what these kits look like. I can't actually find them online, so you might have to find them at your local、uh, local bookstore. See if you have one in, in a, a Japanese craft shop, for example.、Uh, but the company that makes this, I believe, is called Pegasus Design Gallery. If that helps at all, they're about ten to twenty dollars.、Uh, what I like is that this one. Which I don't know if you can see what it is. Maybe I'll, I'll reveal that at the end.、Uh, they they shield the laser uh, the uh, the laser cut paper with this film, kind of as a copy protection. So you can't just walk into the store, take a picture of it, and and steal the designs. I actually think that's pretty clever.、Um, but this one comes out into about thirty、uh, nine pieces or so, and you get them basically on these sheets of cardstock. They're laser cut. Now another cool innovation, because、uh, if you just try to pop these out, you can, but you might tear the paper. Another cool thing they did is they actually include these little moist wipes,、um, these wet naps essentially. And what you're supposed to do is you take this out, and this is wet, and you rub this across the paper. And what that does is it loosens the connection,、uh, the seams, so you can actually pop them out really easily. It doesn't damage the paper at all. I might do that for this. And I do it additionally for this one, and so for those tiny pieces that are difficult to pop out, now super easy to pop out. And those seams where if it was dry could tear, it just snaps right off. So I'm gonna disassemble this, lay them out, assemble it, and we'll see what we've built together. And there you go, from laser-cut cardstock to a pretty beautiful paper craft 3D paper puzzle scorpion. I love the dimensionality, the rigid crosshatch cardstock dimensionality of these puzzles, and it even came with a stand that you assemble yourself.、Um, so I've built several of these now.、Um, they make all sorts of different creatures. I like. The、uh, the more crustaceany ones for this type of design, so I like the、uh, the crawfish, love the isopod, and the scorpion, pretty beautiful as well. I, I name all these creatures. You know, I got Iggy, Johan. Don't know what to name the scorpion. Place and give name him. I want you to help name him. Put a suggestion in the comments below. Until then, I'm Norm from Tested. We'll have another show and tell next week. And if I find a link to where you can buy these, I'll also put it in the description. I'll see you guys next time.